So the question is, how do you go about getting the right launch angle? My name is Jeff Larish, and after this video, you're gonna have a specific checklist that's gonna tell you how to position your body to get there. As a former MLB player, I can give you an inside look into what it takes to train like the pros. If you'd like to be notified when I post my videos every Monday, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell. So we've talked a lot about launch angle and we've even heard from some current players and their perspective on it. And just to show you that it's not some new concept, here's a clip from Ted Williams. Say to swing level, which isn't too bad. Others say to swing down at the ball, which I think is real bad. But to me, the ideal swing has always been one that was slightly up, slightly up. The reason I say that is because the pitcher throwing the ball to the plate into the strike zone is delivering the ball at somewhere from four to eight degrees of angle. I think it makes sense to think that if you swing in the opposite plane in which the ball is being pitched from, that your chances of making contact are much greater. Now each of these guys identified some key points. With Miguel Cabrera, he's talking about palm up. With Matt Davidson, he was talking about driving his back elbow to his back hip. And with Ted Williams, he's talking about having a slight upward swing. And what I want to challenge you on is challenge you to get away a little bit from launch angle and let's start to focus on hand path. First thing we got to talk about is how you hold the bat. Your grip is super important to make sure you're getting the right launch angle. What you're looking to do is you're looking to line up your knocking knuckles and your big knuckles with each other so that there's flatness to your fingers here. Next step is making sure when you're in your stance that your front shoulder is slightly below your back shoulder and your shoulders are pointed to the pitcher. You also want to make sure that your hands, when you stride, are somewhere around shoulder height and just outside your back shoulder. In this position, you also want to make sure that your knob is pointed back towards the catcher. Now, as you go into your attack position, you're going to think about driving your back elbow. You're leading with your back elbow and getting it to your back hip. This is going to allow you to get that C that Matt was talking about with the hands when you drive down into your attack position. It's also going to allow you to get your palm up, so your top palm is up, your bottom palm is facing down, like Miguel Cabrera was talking about. So as you go from attack position, you're going to have this knob pointed out to the pitcher, and now you're punching your knuckles out towards the pitcher. That's going to allow you to get the bat head out and give you the whip to be able to drive through the ball. So as you get down into this attack angle, the barrel of the bat is going to be slightly above the handle. But as you start going to contact, that's when the barrel is going to drop below the handle. And now as you take it through, that's going to allow you to get the right path, bat path to be able to get the right launch angle. Now you should have a better understanding of what launch angle is and exactly what you need to do to get the results you're looking for. So the question is, are you going to take this information and apply it? Don't forget, I post videos every Monday. So subscribe and ring the bell so you can be notified. And share with other players and parents and coaches. Thanks for watching. Have the best day you've ever had.